Hello YouTubers. I had received a question on my uh, email from Amazon. Somebody had a question about my Echo Tracker systems and the question was how to power, how do I power them? And this is a quick video to demonstrate how I power my uh, Echo were the uh, tracker systems. So, on both of them, I have uh, uh, two independent uh, solar panels. Uh, you got to purchase those, of course, separate. Uh, and they're wired in parallel. Both of these wires uh, run to the positive runs to the positive and the negative runs to the negative and then the, the uh, negative wire single wire runs to the charge controller that's the negative uh, uh, terminal the negative terminal on a uh, where it says uh, the solar solar panel uh, goes in at the terminal right there and the positive wire that single positive wire goes into the positive one and then with the battery you you will have the one positive wire goes to the positive poles on the battery and the negative wire goes to the negative post on the battery and this battery is also you have to purchase this separate it's a Thunderbolt 12 volt AGM battery purchase with it has uh, 30 35 amp hours this purchase I purchased that at Harbor Freight very good a battery for the money and this charge controller, I purchased it either on uh, Amazon or eBay. It's a 12 volt charge controller. And this mounted on uh, this, this post, I, I used a hole digger, auger machine and dug a uh, about a two foot hole mounted the the posts in there then I mounted that way I can mount a lot of other devices on it like this combiner box uh, and I mounted the brackets for the battery battery box so this is separate from the uh, Power where the battery is, what was from is, is separate from the solar panels, the bigger solar panels, and I would this would go on like this. Put the strap over it, and good to go. And this is what is included in the package. You will get this charge this uh, circuit board right here excuse me circuit board and sensor the east west north and south sensor I mounted this is how I mounted it on right there that goes to the uh, to the to the box and it come with the harness wire harness for the east and the west uh, north south uh, actuated liners these are those right there and with the far as the uh, unit itself see this unit all of this stuff come included besides I reinforced it with additional you know like aluminum uh, the same thickness and uh, longer pieces where I purchased at I believe Menards or Home Depot drill the holes in those uh, double them up on both sides 
and extended that that way I was able to extend it so I can mount six panels and I'm using uh, uh, on this unit I have a high-tech uh, 160 watt each panel is they purchased from uh, high-tech solar on eBay so I'm tracking the sun right now and I have my the, the panels are wired 24 volt they wired and uh, two panels are wired in series and parallel to form 24 volt and it goes those single wires goes to connects to these single negative and positive wires and that runs to the combiner box the combiner box takes two wires negative and positive in the conduit in the ground where I have uh, goes all the way to the conduit right here and this goes to that combiner box and these uh, panels are wired the same way and and also I have uh, six uh, hundred and sixty watt panels mounted to my shed from uh, high tech also those panels are wired in series in parallel the, the form 24 volt and the wire runs through this conduit uh, along the conduit up under the ground comes out goes into the combiner box and this right here all of these goes and two The two wires that come out goes in two. See these main two wires right here goes into the conduit. This uh, flex conduit goes through the uh, box, goes on in the conduit, and goes, uh, uh, you know, up underground and uh, goes in the house. And those uh the these are right here these are uh six energy panels a hundred watt each this pan this uh tracker is about two and a half years old this one right here and here's of course the sensor that goes to the tracker uh, to the uh, co uh control box and keep in mind that this I, I turn it on auto during the uh, winter months so snow and uh, ice would not freeze up on the actuators I uh, it, it, it'll damage the actuators with the tracker trying to move with a lot of snow on them so you know the best thing to do is to turn it on uh, auto not turn it on manual excuse me turn it on manual during the winter months and let me give you a quick demonstration of how it works on Quick demonstration how it works on manual. Right now it's tracking the sun. I believe that's two or one. Both of them are on the same frequency, so. That's just a demonstration. They could, they would keep going till they stop. North, south. 
with the tracker right there moves faster because it has a lot it's a lot lighter than uh, uh, the bigger one over there is I got a lot bigger panels on me. I'm going to the west. No, oh, that's, uh, excuse me, east. And that's a quick demonstration of uh, how it works.